guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back so what i'm gonna do today is um one of the new features well it's not new new but one of the newer features in canva is that you can um download and make svg files um, so this is a way for, like, if you want to make a file in Canva and then you want to cut it with your Cricut or your Silhouette machine, you can do that. Or maybe you have a different vinyl cutter that is not a Cricut or a Silhouette machine. Um, you can make the file in Canva Pro and then you can cut it with whatever cutting machine that you have and whatever software that you have. Um, previously, Camera Pro did not have this feature, so this is newer, um, and it's definitely useful, but I wanted to show you guys today how to do that, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in, I'm signed into my Camera Pro account, and I'm going to go over to create a design, and I'm just going to go with this t-shirt size, which is 14 by 18 inches. Um, you can go down here to custom size if you would like. You can pick any, really any template. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with the t-shirt because I'm going to say for, um, you know, argument's sake that we're going to be making a t-shirt. Um, now, there's two ways to do this. Now, Canva does have t-shirt templates in there. Um, portfolio that's already ready for you to use if you want, um, or you can make your own from scratch, okay? So I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to start off with like kind of browsing through the templates that they have here already. And I mean, they just have so many different options. They have Halloween t-shirts that you can choose from, Christmas t-shirts with little sayings. They have Mother's Day t-shirts, Father's Day t-shirts, um, designs. So you could come in here and you could pick one of these templates and you can edit it on your own um, to, you know, suit your needs. Okay. I'm going to pick this one right here. So when I select that template, it automatically uploaded to my Canva now, my canvas. Now, everything is a separate element. As you can see, I can click on, you know, the different elements. So if I wanted to change this color in Canva before I download it, I can, okay? So there's two ways you can do this in Canva before you download it, or if you forget, if you download it into, um, you know, onto your computer and you forget to change the colors and you want to change the colors in Cricut or Silhouette, you can, okay? So this is all, I have all of my elements here. It's already done for me because I picked the template. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to share. And this is what's going to pop up if you have a Canva Pro account, which to do this, you do need a Canva Pro account. I'm going to go over to download and then right here where it says file type, you can download it as a PNG if you want to do like um, uh, sublimation or you can do a JPEG, you can do a PDF standard and a PDF print, SVG, you can um, animate it and you can make an MP4 or you can do the GIF, the little GIFs that they have like on uh, Facebook or Twitter, you can download it as that as well, which is only like a couple seconds. Like GIFs are typically like four to five seconds or something like that. We are going to go to SVG, okay? Now, when we download this, we don't want this white background at all. We just want these elements. So we are going to select transparent background. This crown means it's a pro feature. So transparent background is a pro feature. SVG is a pro feature, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and download it. And now it's down here in our bar. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop and then I'm gonna open up Cricut. I'm gonna go to upload the same way you would upload you know, any other SVG that maybe you purchased, you're going to upload it the exact same way.
Okay, so now here is our cut image. We're gonna go to upload, select it and add to canvas. Now, let's say we did all that and we decided we wanted the word mothers to be yellow, not gold. Right now, everything is grouped. So you're just going to ungroup. You're gonna highlight the ones you wanna change and we can change it to yellow. So you can either change the color of the elements in Canva or you can change the color of the elements when you get to Cricut, okay? So now this is a SVG file. So now if I go over to make it, I'm going to group the colors of the letters. So like um, all of these black letters, I want to cut out as one, okay? So I'm going to group those and attach them. Those are going to cut out as one file. Then I want my two hearts to cut out as one file. So we're going to group and attach those. The feet are automatically going to cut out together. The one is automatically going to cut out together. And then here's all the letters for the, um, the word mother. So I'm going to highlight all of these because I want all of these to um, cut out as one as well, OK? Then if we go over to make it, now we have all of our pieces that we're going to layer, okay? I like to cut it out like this um, just because it's easier for me to layer it. You can cut it out however you choose, um, but now we have all of our pieces that you're gonna cut out of vinyl, okay? So that is one way. I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of these and then I'm gonna show you how to make your own template, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to t-shirt size. Now let's say you wanna create your own like phrase. All you gotta do is add a text box. We're going to pick um, the font we want. All right, and I'm just going to layer this to my liking and make this a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's say I wanna sell this on Etsy, right? I like how this is, it's perfect. Um, it's just a, a simple little phrase. You could literally make something like this and you can sell it on Etsy for I don't know, a couple dollars, two dollars or whatever. Okay, so we have our phrase here. We're gonna go to share, download. Again, you wanna switch this from PNG to SVG. And let's say you were gonna go and sell this on Etsy, right? You can download this as multiple files. So if you wanna provide them with the JPEG, the PNG and the SVG, you can do all of that with Canva now. So this is definitely, like these are things that you can design in, in Cricut. So if let's say you're making this for yourself, you can absolutely design this in Cricut. The problem is trying to save it. Like let's say you wanted to sell it on Etsy or something or on your website. It's um, you can't save those files in um, within Cricut. I, you may be able to in Silhouette. I'm not for sure. I'm not familiar with Silhouette Studio, but I know for Cricut, you cannot. Um, so let's say you wanted to sell this and you wanted to sell it in the SVG, the PNG, and the JPEG file. You would just download it three separate times. 
right, in the PNG, JPEG, and SVG. And then you will upload those files to your Etsy shop. So if somebody purchased from you, you have all three of those files that you would provide for them. Okay, and then we don't want this white background. We don't want to have to do any cleaning up. You can delete the background once you get to Cricut, but who wants to do that extra step when you can, all you have to do is check this transparent background box, right? And then we're going to hit download. Okay, and then I'm just going to save this to my desktop and go over to Cricut, upload, upload image, browse, and here it is, okay? Already cleaned up, no background, nothing that we have to do. And that's how you want to add it to your Etsy shop if you're gonna sell it as well, okay? So now here's your file and you can go ahead and you can cut it out and press it onto your shirt. Um, now, let's say I get here and I decide I want Be Yourself to be a different color, right? But I've already downloaded. That's fine. We're just going to go ahead and ungroup this. We're going to highlight the words, be yourself, and we can just change the color. Okay, oops, let me put that back. Then you can highlight this and you can attach that so that it's all gonna go ahead and cut out as one. And then same for the, the bottom letters. You want to make sure that you attach them again so that they cut out together. Then you're going to hit make it. And let me make it a little bit smaller so it'll show on one map. We're going to go to make it. So now we have our files here. Like if you was going to cut this out in vinyl, Okay, pretty simple, right? It's definitely simple, definitely um, easy to do. Um, super, super, super easy. This is something that I plan on utilizing for my Etsy shop. I do plan on, you know, making a lot of files to um, sell within Etsy or whatever. In my Etsy shop, I have a few there already, but I do want to add more and I'll definitely be using Canva Pro to, um, to do that. I believe that's everything within Canva Pro in regards to the SVG that I wanted to show you guys. Super quick and easy, simple little um, tutorial, Canva tutorial. Um, but that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you guys in the next video.